Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm doing another collective read for you guys. I apologize for the last reading. I haven't, uh, it's uploading right now. I haven't posted it yet though. But I said it was May 7th. <laughs> uh, I'm never good with the, the dates, I don't know. Uh, every day is kind of like blending into one another. So I apologize. It is Monday, May 8th, 2023. And I'm doing a collective read. Although time doesn't matter, okay? Uh, it doesn't exist in the world of spirit, so... It's just for posterity in case you need to refer to this reading and or I do in the future. Know that it is, uh, I don't use the signs and the genders, okay? Because it's all energy anyways, as I stated. As a, a beautiful example is you could be a male uh, fire sign and you need to speak your truth and set boundaries and cut people and things out of your life. The card that's going to represent you is not going to be a, uh, you know, a wands card, a king of wands doing, no, it's go or... Yeah, it won't be a king of wands. It'll be the queen of swords in the upright. Because that's the action that the queen of swords does. So it doesn't matter what gender. It doesn't matter what signs in your um, in your chart. It's just energy. It's uh, contingent on what's going on in and around your world. So delete or take it out of your head completely. I know it's hard. you maybe been watching tarot for a while. It's hard to not pay attention to the signs and the genders. But when you do that, you risk the... Uh, the potentiality of missing your message or being misinformed so i tried to streamline it streamline it pardon me it is mercury retrograde i am tripping over my words more than usual so i apologize um i will be using the and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head so if you need to flip the genders go ahead and do so it is a general read so don't go off half cock based on something i said during this general read it's not a personalized reading okay even with a personalized reading you must use your higher wisdom and, and discernment okay we can't tell you what to do. You have the answers within you. If we're lucky, we help to guide and or illuminate. Okay? I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as they come out, as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one, and then we'll bring it together at the end. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. I would be truly grateful if you did. I thank you so much for being here with me. I truly am grateful. I love this soul tribe. <laughs> Let's see what the spirit has, shall we? That's the first card up, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. What would you like the collective to know? Alrighty, we have honesty. It's always the best policy, isn't it? Not, is it not? Twenty-six adds to an eight. Integrity, loyalty, and honesty. So strength in tarot. That's the eight, right? Having integrity, strength, uh, self-respect, self-control, willpower. Humbling oneself. It's embarrassing and humbling at the same time when you have to apologize or you have to do the right thing. I know, I've been through it. The Spirit's tested me time and time again with, you know, dropping the hubris and being humble and doing the right thing. Because honest, it's integrity, right? Um, it's not what you're willing to do in front of people. It's how you condone yourself when nobody's looking. This is the overarching energy. This is the underlying energy. Wishing. 19. That's sun in tarot. So this could be somebody who's going to be very, very happy. Extremely happy. The sun is the best card in the deck, right? You made a wish. Maybe it's coming true now. It's beautiful. 1 and 9 is a 10. So you're ending some cycles in order to be begin new ones, possibly. Uh, the 10 is also the wheel of fortune. Okay? This is a change. The universe has got your back. This is destiny. And the bottom of the deck, the moon. Maybe there's a lot of lies and illusions. Maybe there's fear. Maybe you're highly intuitive. Take it as it lies. High priestess of water. Very intuitive. You could be intimidating. To de uh, people could be intimidated by you because you're highly intuitive. They think that uh, you see everything, you know, what they do in the dark. You know what I'm saying, right? Let's get clarity on honesty, please. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Why is the honesty card here? 26. Thank you. Adjudication. 30. Boils down to a 3. Could be a high priestess, a pregnancy, or a mother. You might be going into adjudication. What Spirit's telling you to do is be honest. No matter how it sounds, how bad it sounds, always be honest. Because if you lie, one little lie, you lose credibility. About a, there's an ending here and or could have been um, a loss. My condolences, if so. It could be uh, some something to do with a will or something. But 19, again, it's the sun, this clarity, it's truth. Being truthful. Healing. 
bottom of the deck. 1919 here. Right? Can't make it up. Look up the numbers, 1919. That might help you out in whatever you're going through. 27. Gosh. Really? Unexpected income is either coming towards... You might have something to do with my first read, if you haven't seen it yet. Somebody's in despair. They're losing everything in court. 32, that's the hierophant. That could be a court, an institution, a contract, a marriage, or, or a commitment. Somebody thought they were going to make money off of you, and it turns out, no, 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 no. They were deluded. You're going to be making money off of their um, nefarious dealings, and it don't look good on them. They're losing everything. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Why is honesty here? 26, adjudication. Why is this here, please? Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Bottom of the deck. Axe. Forces working against you. So somebody was working against you. They wanted to make money off of you. Maybe off your own ending, if you know what I'm saying. Also implies that somebody's getting the axe. It could be an insurance uh, contract or an insurance claim. It could be an inheritance. If somebody was uh, doing stuff they shouldn't have been doing. I apologize. For those that have been around, they know. I've been having a hard time finding card holders. So, yes, maybe I'll have to break out the Scrabble box and take the holders and use those. But somebody's been doing shit behind your back, wanting you, wanting the worst for you. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. You are getting ahead. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Dog, far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. And broken ring. Parting of the ways. Neither romance or business. I think it's business, but it could be romance, okay? Take it as it applies. It could be all, these, all the descriptions, some or one, like I said. If some of it doesn't make sense, that's okay. It just means it belongs to someone else. Leave it alone. Why is honesty here? Card 26, adjudication 30, handshake. Why is this here, please? So somebody might have made a deal with somebody in a high office to back them up, break through. For a star to be born, it must first collapse. This is not your destruction. This is your birth. So you went through hell and back, maybe in a court of law and or some people doing stuff they shouldn't have been doing from a high, somebody in a high office or something, right? They were really putting you through, the, through your paces here. Radiate, let your light shine through. You have a lot. You carry the divine spark within you. We all should be carrying that spark. Some of us, it's been hidden so deep, deeply, though, right? Doing stuff you shouldn't be doing in the dark. Inspire. There's a fire inside you burning brighter than the sun. Wow, and that's so funny because twice 19, the sun came out twice. You're on your, you're well on your way to doing what you, you're, you've been sent here to do, I believe. Wise honesty here, 26, adjudication, 30, handshake, and breakthrough. Please clarify. Sorry, I apologize about the table. I haven't fixed it yet. Something's out of whack. It's not balanced. Obviously, the table indicates that. Somebody's been in avoidance, maybe. Avoiding doing something. Writing some wrongs, I heard. They know they have to. You know they have to, or else it's going to be worse on them. Thank you, Spirit. The Well. This deck has two extra cards in the Major Arcana. So the Well indicates to me that somebody's de delving deep here. Deep emotion. Let's see which way it goes. Let's, where's the book? I shall read it quickly. Pardon me. I'm not used to this deck yet, so the Well. Okay, we have upright, nurturing, opportunity, nature, and creativity. So somebody might have taken, a, um, could be an opportunist. The well is the birthplace, birthplace of ideas, inspiration, transformation. All things are birthed from the creatrix, whose knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. So you're a wealth. You have a wealth of information within you, possibly downloaded, given to you by the divine, right? And um, you must be a high priestess or a priest. Or you already knew about what was going on. You just waited for it all to catch up. Um, in my situation, I already knew what was going to happen before it even happened. Before I even met some of these people. I was told. I seen it. 
I didn't know how it was going to work out, but I knew it was going to work out. It was for a greater, you know, I had to be patient. Four of Wands, wow. Somebody's stable and secure. It could be a, a marriage, a commitment. It could be a twin. It could be a gathering, a celebration of sorts. This could be a business, a home, some stability here. Somebody wants redemption, maybe. Take it as it flies. It doesn't have to be. There's good news coming. I think it has to do with the first read, okay? It could be a home or some property. Page of Wands, assessing a situation. They could be assessing a home, um, your stability. This is news, though. Page of Wands, you stood your ground. You're very inspirational. I think you're starting in this, uh, some sort of foundation. It could be that, too. But this is news. Good news, typically. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, I can't make this up. Could be an inheritance. It could be long-term stability and security. It could be family. Wow. Generational wealth and or legacy. Damn. And people are fighting over it. They're, they're conspiring. They're jealous. They're competing. There's conflict. Oh, sorry about the background noise. But there's no errors in tarot, is there? Somebody that's competing with you. They want this money. A group of people. Could be a family. Doesn't have to be, but could be a family that's... Somebody's loyal to you. See that dog? That in, in, It implies loyalty. Somebody has a great deal of wisdom. That could be you as well. Talking to a younger person. This could be somebody from your past. Uh, an older person that's left you this money. Could be a spiritual inheritance as well. So it doesn't have to be 3D. Could be a spiritual inheritance. Your ancestors are surrounding you. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Four of Wands in the upright, Page of Wands in the upright. Why is this here? Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. King, uh, sorry, Knight of Swords. So somebody committed a crime. Somebody was very abuse, abusive. They, they brought others into danger. It was really reckless, a reckless move on their part. Page of Cups. They're immature and insincere. They left you out. They left you out of this will. Or this, I don't know what this is, this contract. Emotionally manipulative. They use various means to, to get their way, whether it's coercion, lust, money, flattery. It could be a loss of a child as well. Somebody was really reckless and they lost a child possibly. I hope not, but you never know with these stories. Yeah, the truth's coming out. The spirit's saying this is the truth. Wow. The truth again. Sun in the upright. So you have victory and success. You took a different approach, though. The truth is here for all to see. Truth and clarity. You're happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Somebody's trying to avoid a tower moment. You can't avoid a tower moment. This is destruction. Whatever this was, it's coming down never to be revisited again. Okay? So somebody's got the truth. A new beginning here. Taking some action based off of the truth. Seven of Cups. People are seeing there were a lot, um, all that glitters isn't gold. They're seeing that there were illusions here. Running out of options, don't have a choice. Seven of Cups in reverse. Uh, whatever confusion they tried to create about a situation, there's no more confusion. It's dissipated. They, they were opportunists. It's about an opportunity or about a payment and or about money here. This is a lot of money. This is valuable. That this all, all aces are gifts from the divine. You could have a lot of gifts, by the way, spiritual gifts. But um, see how the divine's handing you this pentacle, which is valuable. It's it's it's, um, it's enough to get you going, right? To, to get you out of worry, financial worry, and put you in a place where you can be at ease and at peace and potentially grow that pentacle into generational wealth or a legacy. But you see somebody else's hand coming in wanting to scoop it away from you. You're stable and secure. Yeah, they're getting arrested. Hi, um, hangman in reverse. You let this go. They have to let it go. Um, this is an arrest, possibly. You're not wasting time on this anymore. You, you've illuminated enough people about the situation. They're acting like a martyr here. Wow, you let go and you let God. Eight of Cups, you walked away from this. There was no emotional fulfillment or happiness. Four decisions here. Lovers in reverse. False contract. Yeah, it's a false contract. Whoever this is, they could be acting like a murderer now, saying, oh, it wasn't my fault. If somebody else made me do it, look at it. The, the rope is in this person's hand. 
Okay, they could have easily, easily have stopped this or gotten themselves un, unbound or, you know what I mean? They got hung up and they're blaming everybody else. Liar, liar, pants on fire. They're facing the unknown with the eight of cups here, okay? You walked away listening to your intuition. See this hermit looking at the moon. They listened to their intuition. They were facing a mountain of struggles, maybe, but they, they did what they needed to do. Now they're, this other person or persons are facing the unknown. They invested eight out of ten cups into a situation just to get nothing back but backwash. Yeah, making a decision. They're watching you from a distance, maybe, and or you've made a decision. They could have went to the crossroads secretly. Seven of Wands, they don't have any spiritual protection. They could have made some um, accusations about you they can't back up. They didn't protect or defend you, possibly, if it's professionals or family or lover. Uh, they're feeling defeated and overwhelmed. They don't have a defense for what they've done in a marriage, in court, in terms of uh, with a, an institution of some sort here. It's a contract. You could be a hierophant, very highly um, spiritually ranked. They don't have any protection here. Or maybe it's, you just, you don't, you're making a decision or they're making a decision. They don't want to fight anymore. Take it as applies. You know your own story. You know where you fit in. Okay, so we have the hermit shining a light on this. This is an investigation. Somebody could be hiding. In hiding. They needed to go, maybe you're in isolation. You did that soul work, right? You have higher. You have a higher perception. You use your higher wisdom here. You are in tune or in connection with the divine. But you're also shining a light on things, showing whomever you're dealing with. The snakes are right here. Or maybe it's they need to exhume somebody. If you know what I'm saying. You're shining a light on something. Maybe on somebody's ending, if you know what I'm saying. It's a tower moment in reverse. This is ruin. Wow. They're trying to hide the fact that they are ruined here. That could be it, too. We got an STD. There's no passion, no new beginnings. They're trying to avoid a tower. They're trying to stop something or um, slow something down. Ace of Wands. They don't have the power they thought they did. They didn't want you starting over or taking any action against them. What's your hermit here in the upright and the tower in reverse? Thank you. They're out in the cold. Or they left you out in the cold. Take it as supplies. It's financial ruin. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody was greedy, materialistic, codependent, clingy, very jealous and lazy. All they care about is the money, right? Uh, and how they look in front of people. Very unfaithful. You can't trust this energy. Very jealous. They don't know their value and their worth. Or maybe they said you were unstable and this is you. Maybe they accused you of that. And that's why they left you out in the cold, right? High Priestess talking shit about you. Wow. So you're jealous. You're promiscuous. You're this, that, and the other thing. You're bad with money. You're greedy and selfish. Self-absorbed. Uh, self it's the other way around. Okay? It's all shit talking here. Um, this could also be a very dark High Priestess or priest. Male or female. doesn't matter. Again, gender doesn't uh, apply here. Somebody that was doing, uh, manipulating dark energy possibly, trying to make you unstable, make you jealous, make you penniless. Maybe if they created so much instability in your life, you wouldn't focus on what they were doing in the background, right? But you're coming out with the truth too. That could be a great possibility. Yeah, there's trauma, loss of siblings, loss of children. They tried to do stuff in the background, traumatize you. Try to, you know, give you PTSD or something. Sounds like a narcissist, all right. They're playing mind games with you, gaslighting you. High Priestess in reverse, please. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess. All jealousy. It's all about jealousy and greed. Now they're being left out in the cold. They're, they're facing uh, ruin. It's uh, the well in reverse now. Wow. Can't make this shit up, right? There's no emotions here. You've got to dig deep for any emotion. Because a well in reverse, what's that? It's dry, right? Let's see what it says in the reverse. Reverse, destruction, endings, cold and stagnant. Told you, destruction. Wow. Five of swords. They're embarrassed and disgraced. They had a grudge against you. They want to put this behind them. I'm sure they do. You don't care. 
Maybe you're, maybe they're realizing you don't care. You might be a hierophant. You might be highly spiritually ranked. But like I said in my last video, I do know some karmics are praying right now for help from the divine, from their spirit team, from their ancestors. They're, they've all been told to turn their backs on them. Let them figure it out. They're not willing to take accountability. They're not willing to do what's right. The truth is already known. They have to speak the truth if they want to make good. They have to come out with it and be totally transparent and not lie, not make excuses. They have to tell the truth. They have to humble themselves, right? In other words, six of wands, they're being exposed. It's not a victory, right? They're hiding from public, I think, queen of wands for doing black magic, for being jealous, for being a promiscuous on top of the queen of pentacles here. It could be two of them for somebody's been very abusive and forceful and jealous and angry. It's not a nice person. Ten of cows, break up of a family or a group. Try to s scapegoat you. No emotional fulfillment or happiness. This is not wish fulfillment here. Nine of cups, they lost a the position. They could have been demoted. They're, they're a big drinker or they partake in drugs. They're smug, full of themselves and selfish and know it all in a show off. There's no achievement. No success, no emotional fulfillment or happiness. They fell on their face. It's a fall from grace. They were collaborating. It's a third party situation or they were collaborating with other people or got into a contract with somebody else. The worst thing has happened. So something bad has happened. And they have to take ownership. End of. You know. You know the truth. In my case, I know the truth. I was just told by spirit. Don't say a thing. They have to come to me. They have to show contrition. They have to show that they are remorseful and sorry, and they have to be transparent. They lie, make them excuses, blah, blah, blah. The, the deal is off. They take, they'll have to take the full brunt, the full force of their karma. It's already started in their lives. So they've got to come clean, because there's going to be tower after tower. And I, I believe this is the story too. And I did, I did clear my energy from this. It's just very familiar. I mean, there's billions of people in the world who want, of course, it's familiar to other people too, right? Nine of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Going backwards here. Wow, poor judgment. They judged you harshly. Now they're being judged harshly by their circle and by the divine. Lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. This is karma. That's the final decision here. They were under divine judgment. Now it's over. Karma's starting now. When you're under divine judgment... Everything you coveted, whether it's relationship, sex, uh, money, clout, your, you know, your, your, um, your looks, whatever, it goes. That's the first things that go. Your health, whatever, you know, whatever you coveted, whatever you're proud of, whatever you use to gain, you know, uh, attention and or riches, it's gone. And that's just while he's considering what to do with you. What kind of karma to punish you with? That's what divine judgment is. Yep. Now it's over. It's karma time and they're scrambling. Five of wands in reverse. They're blaming and finger pointing and trying to scramble here. They want all this conflict behind them. They don't want to be challenged by the divine. Well, they're going to be challenged. The divine's holding their feet to the fire. Yeah. They're playing a lot of mind games with you. They were trying to gaslight you, right? Change your judgment. They wanted you to make poor judgment calls with all of their gaslighting. Maybe they were giving putting drugs in your food or drink or something as well. They're trying to bring down your 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 vibrations so they can dominate you, have control over you, or maybe that was their wishful thinking. It didn't work though. Five of Wands in reverse. Let's end this read. It's yucky energy. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanted control over you. They're greedy and selfish. They don't want to let go of you or let go of what belongs to you. It doesn't belong to them. They're trying to protect themselves. They have no integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They're scared right now. They need to humble themselves, like I said, because you're an earth angel. They have to bring peace and balance back to the situation. They need to heal, right? They're dealing with a higher uh, level um, angel and or hierophant of some sort. They need to bring balance back to the situation. Knight of Wands. 
they're holding back. They were holding you back from healing possibly and or reconciling. Strength in reverse. Temperance in the upright. They have to go into recovery maybe. Maybe they're, they're addictions, right? They have to balance things out. Whatever this is. They're afraid to come towards you because they know who the hell you are now. Yep. Queen of Cups. You're a divine feminine. Can't make this stuff up. You you have unconditional love here. They thought your kindness and you're you're very kind and sweet. They, male or female, by the way. Okay, it doesn't matter. But they think that your kindness is is weakness, and it's certainly not. As I said the last couple of videos, it takes a great deal of strength to to, to remain kind to unkind people, people who've harmed you, and you know damn well they they continue to harm you. They continue to talk badly about you and take from you. Put magic on you. It's very very. That takes a lot of strength. Okay. So this is unconditional love, somebody that's highly intuitive and psychic as well. Emotionally balanced, okay? Emotionally stable and mature. Nine of Swords, they did the worst here. It could be a mother, it doesn't have to be, but it could be a mother. A very nurturing um, mother energy. It could be a male in that energy, just, just so you know. The biggest kind of, the biggest love here. Most love here. So Nine of Swords, they're trying, the, the worst has happened, this is a nightmare. They're trying to rationalize and justify what they've done, or they just don't care. Seven of Pentacles is poor investment. You get what you give. Okay, you get what you give. They were reckless, careless, and foolish here. They thought you were naive. They didn't invest in you, and they invested elsewhere. Well, they're out of money. They have to relocate. End of the road. They can't go any further. They didn't want you having a new beginning. Well, they're not getting any new beginnings here. Okay, they took some heavy-duty risks here. And they're going down. Yeah. Devil energy. They were obsessed with bringing you down. Emperor in reverse. This is corruption. Wow. Abuse of power and abuse of authority. This is very karmic. This is the law and order. King of Swords. It could be Archangel Michael too protecting you. King of Swords and the King of Wands. Two protectors here. They're going to jail possibly. They're stuck in their head because you spoke your truth. You set boundaries and cut, you're cutting them out. Or these two, oh, look, this King of Cups. So we have a Divine Masculine here. This was corruption. Somebody lost themselves here, lost their crown, out of control, a tyrant. They bent the public pressure. They only, they're only concerned with their image and what they can gain with uh, other people's money. Okay. Um, could be a Satanist. I hate to say it. Wow. Codependency issues, very jealous, huge ego, very big ego. We're dealing with somebody that could be a sociopath. Never mind narcissist, or worse, a psychopath. They're a tyrant, they're they don't give a shit about anybody. Devil in the upright, the emperor in reverse. Why is this here place? Why is this fool here? Yep. Ten of Swords. The ultimate betrayal. Harsh and painful end for this person. There's heartbreak here, bottom of the deck. Wow. Somebody's letting go, giving up. They're angry. Too, it's too challenging. You're too much of a challenge for these people. Yeah, for the devil himself, you are. Page of Pentacles, somebody's learning a lesson here. They're crying over a young person, maybe. Over an opportunity, opportunity, over a new beginning. They want to put these burdens down other people have placed upon them. Or maybe they're they're heartbroken. They're finding out the truth through tarot. So this could be a tarot reader as well. Page of Pentacles. They're finding out the truth about a payment, a new beginning. What is this Page of Pentacles place? What's Page of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. They were juggling you. They're out of money here. Something wasn't fair, wasn't balanced. They're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Whatever they did, it wasn't balanced. Okay, it wasn't fair. They said you were unstable. You're very stable here. They have to come in. They were inter intercepting your mail and or payments or something. They have to take accountability here. The The Knight of Pentacles out of the four knights in the deck is the only one. It's the slowest moving knight, but it's the only one that makes it to the end. They have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They're very practical and very careful. They do the right thing. The artist what that means the artist in the upright somebody's very artistic maybe well, obviously you are you have some gifts right 
in the upright, it's visionary, interpreter, creation, and passionate. So you have you, you created something new. It took a while, but you're there, okay? You're making it. The artist is the vessel of creation. This card signifies humankind and shows when you need to open to to open to the knowledge that's available if you stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition. Listen, like I said, they're trying to distract you for a long time so you wouldn't pay attention to what they were doing. Six of Pentacles. They were trying to make you look unstable. This was fraud and theft. Something wasn't fair. Not a cost of scam artist and or they were doing some spell work here into casual hookups and sex. I'm sorry. It's not really getting at all. Yeah, this is a not a wants. They felt entitled to do this. They had a huge ego. Doppelganger. Forgery, I heard. The truth is coming out now. Moon in reverse. They're losing hope. This is not wish fulfillment. They're feeling ashamed of themselves because they were emotionally manipulative. They're vainglorious, I just heard. Um, they're abusive. King of Swords in reverse. They're a narcissist. I can't make it up. They use and abuse people. Right, so Eight of Wands, fast communication your way. There, it's an investigation. This was a crime. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're very par uh, paranoid here. You've you've set some firm boundaries here. Three of Wands in reverse. They can't move forward. Their ships aren't coming in. They didn't want to let go. It didn't serve. They're not prepared for what's about to happen. There we go. It's an ending, death. Because of what they did to you, the injustice here. They tried to do this to you. Yep. So something's over okay it's, it's been long over it's overdue i just heard so sorry the honesty best policy is to be honest about the situation find your that's eight adds to an eight so that's strength right in tarot find the strength and courage to speak your truth whoever this is or you have you are the one with the integrity loyalty and honesty here resilience self-respect self-worth right you knew your self-worth there's going to be an adjudication it could be a court case of some sort this is boils down to a three an empress a pregnancy or a mother it could be a male and empress energy by the way it just means you're creative and artistic and you birth new things into the world right handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important so maybe that's something you, somebody you've already met before maybe you were investigating you didn't know Breakthrough. For a star to be born, it must first collapse. This is not your destruction. This is your birth. And I've been through it. Okay, I've hit rock bottom quite a few times because I'm stubborn. <laughs> Gotta learn the hard way. Um, it wasn't done to you. It was done for you. Okay. 19, that's the sun, the best card in the deck, right? Wishing. So you made a wish and it's coming through. Okay, you're going to be extremely happy. This is clarity, truth coming forth, happiness and healing. Okay, you're happy, healthy, wealthy and wise. Coffin, again, 19, the truth and clarity about an ending of some sort, whether it's a person or a situation or a, a will, let's say. Okay, X, forces working against you. They were trying to work against you. It's not going to work. They're going to get the X. Somebody's going to lose something, their job, their position, something. Radiate, let your light shine through. And that's exactly what you're going to do. And you're going to going to continue doing so spirit is insisting okay don't let them stop you don't give them that satisfaction angels how are we ending the read for today please what is the ending what's your end um advice here let's see advice for this reading for the collective please take. we have two cups a partnership of some sort um maybe it's a, a divine union of some sort 19 again Wow, 1919. Three 19s here. What are the odds? Right? The sun, truth, clarity. The swiftly, heart, the swiftly hearkening God. Fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. So a new partnership you might be going into. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. It took long enough, right? Knight of Pentacles. Lila Hell, six. Yeah, uh, this looks like it's a sacred union. You, you had choices or you made a decision here. You used your higher wisdom. This is a contract, possibly. The praiseworthy God, light of understanding, acquires knowledge and cures illness. Somebody's taking accountability. They're coming in with an offer. Queen of Pentacles, wow. Male or female, doesn't matter. You know your value and your worth. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You're hardworking. You're capable. You're independent. You're abundant. 55, so that means it, there's change here. 55, expect the unexpected. Um... Adds to a 10. It's a wheel of fortune. Is your destiny, their fate? The wheel of fortune is, is turning in your favor here. 
was change. The eternal God, intellectual lucidity, provides consolation and compensations. So you're going to be compensated for what they put you through. Knight of Cups, yeah. Coming in with a, a cup of either fealty, of support, or love. Ariel, 46. Again, this is destiny. This is a 10, right? The revealing God. Somebody could have tried to love you up because they were a gold digger, cloud chaser, or they were sent by somebody, whether your family or friends, they were sent. Perception and revelation discovers hidden treasure, reveals secrets of nature. So you're finding a lot out now. Eight of Wands, good news coming. It's coming fast. Behuel, 49, 13, death. It's a resurrection for you. You are going to be bouncing back up again, starting over, but it's not over, really. It's starting from a place of experience now, right? You are the phoenix rising, and it's an ending for somebody else. The great and exalt exalted God. Um, grandeur makes one passionate towards God. You are very passionate towards your father, our father, right? King of Swords speaks some truth. This could be Archangel Michael and or somebody in a position of power and authority figure of some sort. It could be you just speak some truth. Justice here, 11. The exalted God. Victory, grants victory and protection from lightning. There you go. So you're being protected here. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. They're protecting your work. That that violin here reminds me of somebody trying to, the, the sob stories, right? Like I'll play my, what's this? The smallest, the world's smallest violin. <laughs> Playing that for your sob stories. I think somebody likes to cry. Pit, you know, they want pity, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to work. Okay. Stop sob stories. Take accountability. No one's going to feel sorry for you now. Okay. I'm not trying to be glib or anything, but I'm not wasting time with my words. I'm not going to mince my words. Okay. And try to assuage your fragile ego. You've done harm and it's time to stand up and take accountability for what you've done. Stop crying. Oh, woe is me. You brought it on yourself. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light, are we in the report collected, please? What's the parting message here? What's the parting message for the collective, please? Didi. Revenge. They want a revenge on you? That's too bad. Or maybe their ancestors want revenge on them now. Um, we have Kaliak. Endurance. They can't endure. They can they don't have the endurance you have. So whatever they, they're they being put through by your ancestors, their ancestors, because they totally disrespected their ancestors and brought their name down. They can't endure what they wanted for you. Isn't that funny? It was okay to do it to you. You had to go through what you had to go through, but they can't even go through a fraction of what you went through before cry, crying uncle. There's a reason why I said that. Kara uh, Dwin, inspiration. They're not inspiring here. You don't want you to be inspired. Maeve, determination. You're very determined. You're determined here. Persephone in reverse. They didn't want to comply. But they're going to have to. They're going to have to. Foam knock. Envy. They're so envious of you. It's not even funny. They experience the loss. Either they smarten up. They've already experienced the loss. They're going to experience more. So they got to smarten up. This is what the um, their ancestors and your ancestors are telling these people. By the way, if it's a family situation, no, you don't have the same ancestors because you don't have the same past lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? But they've, it's like a, they disrespected their ancestors by doing what they did. And they certainly disrespected yours. So Diddy, uh, revenge. When they're beaten, some people will just give up or turn and walk away, but not you. You seek revenge. But right now it's getting to the point where it will consume you rather than give you the strength to rise above the actions of those you have, you who have wronged you? A broken heart will not mend by inflicting that pain onto others. It will just remain broken for longer. Falsehoods spoken have left you raw, but the desire to add to those lies are a knee-jerk reaction and will only make things worse. Diddy, who reigns over so many, asks you to think twice. Her acts of revenge backfired, and she is warning you of doing the same. Take the high ground or remove yourself from a situation or a relationship that will only shatter your dreams once more. Be the better person. Forgive and move on. Show the world you are so much more than a victim of circumstance. It's not, you're not a victim of, although you want the world to believe you're a victim of circumstance, you're a victim of your own choices. Okay? So give it up. Endurance in reverse. What was it again? Kaliak. In reverse. You will work hard and inspire many. The worst is behind you. Experiences make you stronger. Take stock and seek the lessons within. Weight training will build your strength. 
both physically and mentally all is well. So this is for the one that was done wrong, the one that's uh, being protected. Uh, the worst is behind you, okay? I guess that's good news, right? It's time to, to, to rebuild, regroup, recover from this. Inspiration, Kirui Dwin. Pardon me, please bear with me. So in reverse, negative views have clouded your outlook. Observe your thoughts carefully. Change negative words to positive ones. Read, draw, or write. Meditate to enhance your natural wisdom. This is a good time to start a new project. Trust your visions. So this is more uh, advice to you. Just concentrate on you. Heal. Do what you've been doing. You know what I mean? Elevate more. Um, don't concentrate on what these people are doing behind your back. Yeah, we, we want justice. I get it. When is it coming? It's taken so long. But divine justice and divine timing is not like our time. It does Time doesn't exist in their world. It, they're working very hard on your behalf. It, it's not easy doing what they're doing. Okay? Bringing you justice. So just know it is being done. Okay? Don't lose hope. I guess that's the bottom line. Don't lose hope. You've done everything you could do. And now concentrate on you. Healing yourself. Um, building your 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 new life up. You know what I mean? You're not starting from over from scratch. You are starting from experience. And that's a wonderful thing. Please like, share, subscribe. And I hope, I hope this helps. And until next time, take care.